Greetings YouTube. Happy Saturday once again. I really appreciate all of those of you who reached out to me who said, Prof, I know you're playing tennis. And by the way, tennis went really well. So well, in fact, that in my tournament, I was hitting it hard enough to where they said, if you want to keep playing with the people you're playing, you should probably let your foot off of the gas. I, uh, I, I'm really competitive. I'm not one of those people who's like, I'm not competitive. And then you proceed to be like cutthroat. No, I'm cutthroat. I'll be your friend off the court, but on the court, you're my enemy. Uh, with that being said, I uh, just didn't know, didn't keep track of the fact that we have all new incursion five-star crystals. Really all new crystals, three stars, four stars, and five stars. The five stars are the only ones that I've really been grading and critiquing now for, I don't know, a year. Uh, as always, we have three different groups to make this easier on our grading. Game-changing champion, fine-slash-good champion, or trash. I know there could be four or five or even six different categories, but I find so this video is not 20 minutes long that uh, having three categories just kind of makes it um, easier. And so we're going to look at the Chaos Crystal, uh, which will be here for the next three months. Venom, Game Changer, Sentinel, somewhere between good and Game Changer, but for variant content, definitely Game Changer. We'll, 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 say, uh, we'll say just for the heck of uh, being generous, Game Changer. Hell's Kitchen... I still think he's trash. I'm going to say trash. Why not? Elsa, good. Immortal Hulk, good to game changing. Some of you have told me that he is your MVP on the new gauntlet. So why not just put him in the game changing category if that's the case. Invisible Woman, my prom date, good. Deadpool X-Force, trash, but for synergies, good. Old Man Logan, I, I'll put him in the good category. He's fine for incursions. I just... I don't know anybody that uses them. Juggernaut, Trash, Mordo, Trash. So this is really a heavy champion for Venom and Immortal Hulk and uh, probably Elsa and Sentinel. It's it's a fine crystal, but I, I honestly think it's it's not that much better than average. It's like a C plus to B minus crystal. When you know that there's an A crystal involved, there's a couple of like straight banger top 10, maybe even top 5 game changers. This crystal does not have them in it. All right, we're going to say B minus generously for the Chaos Crystal. Let's move on to the Nightmare Crystal. Dr. Doom, Game Changer, Red Goblin, good. Mysterio, good. Star-Lord, good. Agent Venom, somewhere between trash and good. Night Thrasher, I've never used him, but some of you swear by him. We'll, we'll say good. Red Hulk, I think Red Hulk's a Game Changer. Some of you disagree. He's at least good. Ant-Man Trash, though for synergies, especially with Ghost, fine. Uh, Magneto House of X, fine. Beast Trash. Um, if Doom is someone that you are hunting, you will never have a better drop rate for Doctor Doom than in this 10% uh, or 1 out of 10 Nightmare Incursion Crystal. I'm going to say it is a A-. minus. Yeah, real solid crystal overall. I think Beast is the only champ that I would be like, ah, oh, dang it, why did I get Beast? Genesis Crystal comes before Exodus Crystal. Uh, Red Mags, Game Changer, Ghost Rider. I I love Ghost Rider to death, but since he's not Cosmic Ghost Rider in this crystal, we'll say he's good. Proxim Midnight, fine. Cosmic Ghost Rider. You got Ghost Rider and Cosmic Ghost Rider in the same crystal, and Cosmic Ghost Rider is a Game Changer. Uh, between him and Magneto and, and Ghost Rider, love this crystal. Civil Warrior with the buff is fine. Howard the Suck No More is good. Korg is fine. Masakre is good. Joe Fixit is straight trash. And Captain America World War II also left his buff in 19... What? 35? 1940? Uh, this is an A. If you need Cosmic Ghost Rider or Red Mags... That's a 20% chance to get both of them. I love this crystal. Uh, Joe Fixit and Captain America World War II can't even lower my excitement for this Genesis crystal. If you need Cosmic Ghost Rider or you need Red Mags, you need to go for this crystal. And yes, you can go for it twice in about three months. All right, after Genesis, we are going to evolve into the evolution crystal. Quake Mambe! She is so worth learning, trust me. Game Changer, Apocalypse, Quake and Apocalypse in the same crystal to start out. How amazing is that? Game Changer, Dormammu, fine. 
Morningstar, good. Nova, good. Carnage, good. Green Goblin, fine. Nebula, fine. Winter Soldier, more trash without the Killmonger synergy to mean anything else. And Vegan Thor is fine. This is a really solid crystal. I don't think it has the ceiling of the Cosmic Ghost Rider crystal just for the insanity that is that uh, that guy. But it's pretty dang close. I'm going to say A-. minus. I'm going to say A-, minus. But, but you can't go wrong with most of the champs in this. Even if you get Winter Soldier, there's an argument to be made that he could be solid with the right synergy. I'm really impressed with Kabam overall with some of these crystals. These are an improvement from the last ones. Uh, from Evolution to War, what is this, the Old Testament? Uh, Five-star War Crystal. Nick Fury, Game Changer. Hulk Ragnarok, good. Archangel, Game Changer. Cable, especially with the Apocalypse Synergy, good. Dragon Man, good. Longshot, good. Hella, fine. Ronin, trash. Iron Package, trash. Rocket Raccoon is fine, but borderline trash. This is a B to B plus crystal. It has more duds in it than the last couple, but I'd, st I'd say enough studs over duds to, uh, to justify a purchase. If you don't have Nick Fury, a.k.a. Mama Bear, finally a reason for you to do incursions, Mama. Land yourself a Nick Fury. If you don't have Nick Fury or Archangel, you're going to want to go for this, but I don't think I'd go for this before the Apocalypse or Cosmic Ghost Rider Crystals. All right. We just went to war with that one. Now we're going to go with the Death Crystal, and I do... I do declare that this is the last one. We have Guillotine 2099. Somewhere between good and game changer. I have a rank 3 6 star Guillotine 2099. I use the right synergies. She is solid, but she's not my favorite champion to use. You know, I know you, you really want to end it on a special 3, and that's nice, but I just don't enjoy her as much as Warlock. Maybe I'm just being a, a Guillotine 2099 snob, but that's how I feel. Kingpin, especially after the buff, is a game changer. Luke Cage is good. OG Hulk is fine. Professor X, good. Iceman, good. Iron Fist, trash. Diablo, double trash. King Groot, triple trash. Satan herself, quadruple trash. Say it with me. This crystal is uglier than my senior photo. Uh, you do have, uh, obviously, some good champs. GT29. Kingpin and Professor X at the top. Luke Cage and Iceman are also uh, very much in the conversation of solid champs. I think it's a, a B minus. B minus to like even C plus. This is the worst crystal of any of them just because the ending is like hide the bleach status between Iron Fist, Diablo, King Groot, and Satan herself. And maybe that'll change. You know, the, the fun thing is for a long time we could have said, boy, Red Mag's in a crystal. You don't want to get him. And now it's like, Red Mag's, oh my god. So, you know, things can happen. Howard the Duck now, uh, or Howard the Suck no longer, as I like to say. He's fun to land on now. So, all in all, um, I I love this group. I, I wish, for my selfish sake, that uh, we had the ability to get Red Guardian in these. But the dad bod was in the last one, so it makes sense that he's not in these. The Cosmic Ghost Rider one, though, man, you can't go wrong with that. And so, uh, love that Genesis Crystal. And love the Evolution Crystal. Genesis and Evolution are my top two favorites. But if you have specific champions you're targeting any of these, you can't go wrong with the 10% drop rate. And if there's two or three that you're targeting in one, that's a 20 to 30% drop rate. That's why I love Incursions Crystal so much. Thank you to everybody who uh, let me know that these things had refreshed so I can do my job and grade each one. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend.